Hello friends, so welcome to this new video, a new dashboard, a new process of creating the dashboard. So yesterday I got one data set which is the food and beverage sales data. So I thought why not to create the dashboard for this sales data, right? So I have created the dashboard for this data. So today in this video, we will follow the same steps for creating that particular dashboard. I'll show the preview of that particular dashboard. So this is the dashboard, food and beverage sales analysis dashboard. So it is very interactive dashboard. It shows so many KPIs. We have used different visuals here. Okay, I'll tell you what it shows. It shows total, or total order average ticket price uh, uh, revenue total revenue it shows revenue by channel revenue by product category order by product category product category revenue and order by month revenue and order by quarter revenue by product group revenue by salesperson revenue by uh, sorry order by salesperson after that it shows heat map we have used certain slices for filter based on product category channel quarter right and it is very interactive i'll show you it works as well let's say we want all the data for drink only okay so this is the data for drink let's say we want data for food this is the data for food okay let's say we want channel as distributor only this is the data for distributor this is the data for online as a channel this is the retail data okay let's say uh, we want to uh, find out the sales data for only first quarter so click on quarter one this is the data for quarter one this is the data for quarter two similarly for quarter three for quarter four let's say we want f uh, data for quarter four and two so we can select multiple uh, quarter here by pressing control okay similarly uh, let's say we want the whole data okay so this is the entire sales data but we want to see only distributor contribution in this so what we will do we will select just distributor here see so this dark one is only the distributor okay similarly in this complete entire data we want only for food okay so we can select food here so this is the contribution of food in this sales data so like this we can select multiple things here i'll tell you step by step procedure for creating this dashboard you have to just download the data i'll provide the data set in the description box just download it and follow the same steps okay follow the same steps at the end you will also you can also develop a dashboard like this okay so let's start so we know the first step of creating the dashboard it is nothing but loading the data set okay so we will create the dashboard from scratch okay so today our data source will be excel workbook we are using excel workbook as a data source so just click on this excel workbook okay our data is in this folder so today we have two tables product and sales data okay so first load product It will take 10 to 15 seconds to get load. It's loaded now. Now we will load the next table, which is sales data. So this is like quite huge data set. So it may take some time to get load. Okay. So after loading, this was the first step. The next step is to see what are the contents or what are the different columns in this data set and from that particular column analyze what we can calculate okay so let's see the table one by one what it have in this but what we have content in this particular table okay so 
see here on the left side of the screen there are three options first one is for report second one is for data and third one is for model okay so this is the report page and this area is called as canvas where we are going to build the visuals okay so go to the second option which is data so we have two tables so first one is product table so in this we have product id product name product group and product category okay so uh, we will not make any changes because I guess this data is good enough okay so there is no error in this particular data set so no modification needed for this particular table okay then we will select the second table which is sheet one which is the sales data okay so basically in this sheet one we have order date order number product key which is nothing but product ID sponsor key salesperson name supervisor name managers name channel quantity and unit price okay so from this uh, what we can calculate is we can calculate revenue okay we can calculate revenue so what we are going to do for ca uh, see uh, our uh, there will be like for creating this dashboard there will be three main kpis which are order total order total revenue and ATP ATP is nothing but average ticketing price okay so we'll create the first measure so go to product right click it create new measures because we are going to show this number revenue okay so type the formula here revenue will be equals to so what will be the revenue revenue will be summation of sales amount right total sales amount wait so I guess we have selected the wrong table go to sheet one we have sales amount here go to sheet one so first we have to calculate the sales amount actually okay so what we will do we will add new column okay so the formula will be sales amount will be equals to quantity into unit price right so we will type quantity multiplied by unit price right so because uh, previously there was no sales amount column in this right so we have just calculated this sales amount is equals to quantity into unit price now we have sales amount so what we can do now we can change the type of this like format of this one so sales amount is in currency now okay now uh, we can create the measures so just right click on this product create new measure okay so this will be revenue will be equals to summation of so we are using some function here and we will select sales amount okay done so we have calculated revenue after that we are going to show orders right so we will just click on this new measure okay so total orders will be equals to we have uh, order number right in one column yeah so what we will do we will calculate distinct count of that order number okay so we have now total orders as well and now we will calculate ATP okay so we will again click on this new measure so I 
have fridge, ticket, price, which is nothing but ATP. So we will just type ATP here instead of average ticket price. ATP will be equals to, we will use divide function. So the numerator will be revenue. comma denominator will be order okay comma blank and hit enter so we have calculated ATP as well right so three KPIs we have calculated revenue order and ATP so what was the process see we have just uh, seen the data okay so in that data there was no column of sales amount so we have first calculated the sales amount based on unit cost and cost of that particular product right uh, like total number of unit and cost of that particular product so we have just multiplied to calculate revenue of that particular product okay after that we have calculated three KPIs. First one was revenue, which was nothing but summation of all the sales amount. The second one, total orders. We have just calculated distinct count of order number. Okay. And the third one was ATP, which is nothing but division of revenue and order. Okay. Now, uh, I guess we have all the data. If anything is required, right, while creating the dashboard, if required, we will calculate another KPI as well. Okay. So let's start for developing the dashboard okay so always remember while creating a dashboard you have to visualize the dashboard at the back end and you have to decide what background colors or what are the different colors we, you are going to use for that so for deciding the colors i use this particular website which is color hunt so it has so many color codes there okay it shows the different colors okay so what we are going to use i am going to use this particular color as a background okay so what i'll do i'll just copy this color okay so go to again power bi so we are going to create for shape okay go to insert select shape select this rounded rectangle increase the size of this one okay so roundness corner I'll reduce to 7 okay and in good style more colors we'll paste that particular code which we have copied previously okay so This will act as a background for today. Okay. When you double click on the canvas this kind of window will open just delete it it's fine okay the next thing is uh, we will create one more we will take one more shape on this one i'll tell you why so basically go to insert go to shape select again rounded rectangle position it like this go to shape again select rounded corner as 7 only cannot select 7 so you have to increase it yeah you can select 15 okay this will be fine just increase the size of this one just keep the space on left hand side I'll tell you later on why we have kept that particular space decide the roundness corner again select 7 only okay and just reposition it okay this looks good now so 
now we have to give the color of this one so again go to style go to color go to more color so we will just paste that particular code so it was c f f d a one i found this color which we are going to use okay then now our background and all are decided now we are going to create visual okay so the first thing is uh, one more shape we will take for showing the KPIs okay one more shape we will take for showing the KPIs so the shape will be again rounded rectangle okay um, we have its size as well so its size will be actually 120 by 870 okay so what we will do we will just drag this like this so at the top of this one the heading will come okay like this we will keep everything is fine in this one so go to shape go to style again select that particular color not this one actually we'll select this one yeah it's look good okay now we are going to show kpis in this particular shape okay we are going to show kpis in this particular shape so what was the first kpi so it was total order so for showing this what we are going to do we are using this card visual so always remember whenever you have to show the numbers right important numbers use card visual so in this visual you are going to show revenue okay so we have already calculated the revenue so just drag this revenue to this field so number will get shown on the screen okay so now we will format this particular visual so go to format your visual option we don't want category label so category label means this thing which is written below the number revenue we don't want this okay so call out value we will format it bold okay we'll later on format it so basically go to general okay we want title so enable the title type total revenue okay make title bold center align text color select as this off white i'll tell you why because we are going to disable the background actually go to effect and disable the background so it will be clearly visible and again for this call out value select bold text color this one only we will resize it go to general go to properties so size of this visual will be 120 width will be 300 we will just resize it okay so we'll just copy this visual we'll paste it okay so this will be our second card so in this particular card we are going to show average ticket price so instead of revenue select average ticket price here in the field okay so this is our average ticket price but we don't want this much decimal number so you can select only one here okay and the la oh, okay heading we have to change so go to title so instead of total revenue type atp which is average ticket price again copy and paste this visual so power bi has this special option okay in this we can copy and paste the visual as well with the same formatting so in this third card visual instead of atp we will show total orders so we will just select order here and we'll change the heading go to title instead of ATP type total orders done so we will just align it so select all three visual okay go to format align distribute horizontally okay done 
after that we will add icon and all things later on okay here we will put heading at the last okay so our card visuals are done we have shown kpis now we will create some donut chart okay so uh, this uh, go to this click on this icon build visual select donut chart from here you have to select this option click on this one in this first donut we are going to show revenue by channel okay so we have multiple option here see legend values so in values we will keep revenue and in legend as we are showing revenue by channel we will keep channel okay now we will format this visual basically so while formatting this make sure for each and every visual you are going to disable the background so first thing is you will disable the background the next thing is go to visual we want data labels actually okay and the legend should be at top so we will just change the position of that particular legend to top center okay and the size of this one this visual i'll tell you size what you can keep so it should be 225 by 220 i have calculated the size previously so that's why i know okay we'll just drag this to this position okay this will be revenue by channel now we will format it again so while formatting what we can do see uh go to format your visual okay go to data label values make it bold and select previous color again go to visual actually select legend text you have to make it bold and select same color okay every time we don't have to format i'll tell you you can directly copy the format and paste it on second visual okay so this was the first thing i'll again copy it and i'll paste it okay the color of that slices and all slice slice in that particular thing we will format it later one more formatting is remaining actually here so go to this one go to general title we have made it bold make it bold select text color and center line the title now done okay now we are going to create one more donut chart which shows revenue by product category so what we will do we'll just copy this visual we'll just paste it like this okay so this visual is showing right now revenue by channel we will cancel the channel and we will select product category here as a legend okay then it's very easy again we are going to create the third visual which is a donut chart and it should show orders by product category okay so what we will do we'll just copy this visual we'll just paste it like this okay so right now it is showing revenue by product category so it should show order by product category so in the legend we will keep product category we, we will cancel the revenue and we will select the orders as value okay so now it is showing order by product category great so we will format the color of this particular donut chart later on okay so we have created three donut chart as well okay now we are going to create a revenue and order by quarter okay revenue and order by quarter so for this we are going to use line and stacked column chart okay so in this uh, what we are going to show we are going to show revenue on y axis okay orders with the help of line and the next thing is we want to show it by quarter okay so for quarter we have to select date okay go to date hierarchy and select quarter on x axis so this is the case 
revenue in order by quarter so what you can do you can just format this visual as well keep the size as 185 by 270 so first thing form go to format your visual go to general properties here height keep 185 and width 270 you can change it according to your available space okay just cop copy the format of this visual by format printer and paste it here okay drag this till here okay revenue and order by quarter so we have to format this a bit basically go to visual go to x-axis make each and every value bold and select the same color okay similarly title of x-axis also should be bold and same color okay similarly values on y-axis again it will be bold select the same color because we are keeping uniformity in our dashboard and same the title bold and same color now done if you want to show the data labels you can show okay this is done the next thing is we will create uh, show revenue by product group okay revenue by product group so for this we are going to use stacked bar chart okay so select values as revenue so on x-axis we will show revenue and on y-axis we will show product group okay we'll just copy the format see for copying the format you have to sh select the visual which is already formatted click on format painter and now select the visual on which you want to paste that particular format okay in this particular visual we are going to show grid lines as well okay so for selecting the grid line see go to format your visual select visual option select grid lines here instead of dotted select solid and color same this one okay and uh, yeah just copy this format and paste it here so again grid line will appear keep the size of this visual revenue by product group as 300 by 270 go to general properties it is already 300 and select 270 as width okay now you can drag this and you can keep this here you can use this space which is available below by extending its increasing its size yeah done now uh, what is the next thing which we are going to calculate we will calculate revenue and order by month will calculate revenue and order by month so basically we will use this visual we'll just paste it copy and paste we'll keep it here okay and uh, as this we want to show revenue and order by month right so instead of quarter we want month so we will delete this quarter okay on x-axis we are going to show month so just select the month and drag it on x-axis so it will show month just increase the size of this visual done it's very easy right after that the next visual which we want to use is stacked bar chart and it should show revenue by salesperson okay revenue by salesperson so select stacked bar chart okay on x-axis it will show revenue on y-axis it should show name of salesperson okay but we want only top four let's say so in salesperson we will apply the filter so click on the salesperson instead of basic filter select top type top 4 
okay by what value you want to sort it by it their revenue value and just click on apply filter so these are the top four see instead of top four what you can do you can select top three only that will be fine okay because the space available is very less just select this chart copy the format and paste the format here and keep the size of this one as 155 by 230 so go to format your visual general height 155 width 230 you can drag this visual here okay revenue by salesperson done the next thing which we are going to do is we will show order by salesperson okay we are going to show order by salesperson so again same visual we will copy okay so we want to show this in the form of vertical bar so we will select clustered column chart actually okay so on y axis we will keep order on x axis we will keep salesperson okay so there are so many salesperson again we will apply filter so for salesperson instead of basic filtering we will select top n okay we will select top four salesperson now and by order their, their order value and click on apply filter resize it based on your space available I have this much of space available only I'll just copy the format and I'll paste on this particular visual done okay the next thing which we are going to do is we will utilize this remaining space for creating a heat map I'll show you how to create a heat map so basically in this particular space we will show salesperson name or their total orders their ATP and their revenue so what we will do we will select matrix visual here this one okay we will use the entire available space now okay so in this select this visual so basically it is first asking for rows so on rows we want to show salesperson okay so sales salesperson names are there then in values we want to show their total orders so drag orders to values okay then see here uh, there is no salesperson but order is one so what we can do we can filter out that one okay so go to order sorry salesperson so select all and remove this blank okay so that blank is gone now so order after order we want to show ATP so just drag this okay just a minute select this table again yeah in values just drag this ATP as well and one more thing which we want to show here is their revenue so drag their revenue as well done so this will be fine this space will be fine so we can increase the size of this visual okay now we will format this particular table okay this matrix table so the very first thing is go to format your visual okay uh, style uh, you can select the styles from here so basically values for every values we are going to use same text color and background color like this okay again for alternate text color you have to select the same text color and same background color this is done the next thing is column header so 
for every text we will we are selecting the similar color for uniformity and same for background color as well and uh, this one was column header right so you can keep the header alignment at center then a rose header same bold same text color same background color okay then for column sub table uh, sorry subtotal for values bold is already there select the same color same background color similarly for row subtotal go to values text color same background color grand total okay now row grand total not needed actually but we will keep it as uniform okay now select cell element you want to show heat map right so cell element so basically see these are called as cell elements these number two seven six seven five nine zero one two four two nine these numbers are called as cell element now we want to color the cell according to these numbers okay so what we will do we will enable the background color okay we'll select the function so this function okay minimum color will be white and for maximum value it will be blue select okay similarly so this was for order for atp we can give different color just enable the background color okay so same color we will try to keep okay for all three revenue as well so this is called as heat map it shows the color of that particular cell depends on that particular number which is in that particular cell okay so this is also done so our formatting is done almost now what we will do we will format the colors of this bars actually okay so we will keep one uniform color i have already selected the color from this color and side okay so you can also decide the color based on your own okay so what i'll do i'll go to this one option i'll select color and the color of chart i'll go to more color i'll select hash zero six two eight three d this is the dark color okay so go to more color copy this code similarly for this bar as well i'll go to more color paste this code for this bar go to more color i'm pasting the same color for every bar because it will be uniform throughout our dashboard will be uniform throughout okay this is done so for this line we are going to use different color actually select line so for this particular color you can select this one so it will be clearly visible on dark color okay in same for this one actually okay now this is done now we will format this three donut chart okay so we can select the color for this donut chart so i'll tell you again you can go on that particular color and side for selection of colors so what we are going to do we will select this first one okay go to slices so for retail okay we will select this color not this one we'll select this color yeah then for distributor we will select light and for online mode again somewhat light yeah similarly for this one revenue 
uh, so food we'll select this one for drink we can select this one okay and order by product category so we okay here one blank is there right in product category so go here select all remove blank okay so for food we are giving red color and for drink we will give light color this one okay done almost everything is done now we have to create some basics filter basic filters here right so we're creating or giving the basic filters for sorting out the data we are going to use slicer so go to this build visual option so select this one slicer so in the first slicer we are going to show orders Uh, we are going to show product category actually so select product category from here now see it is showing in the form of checkbox okay so we don't want blank we'll remove the blank from here so we don't want checkbox actually so what we can do go to format your visual select visual option in this orientation select horizontal instead of vertical okay so this box will appear just resize this one like this again resize it okay this is good product category we will format this visual so again basic formatting we will do go to effect background should be off title uh, go to properties So slicer header we have, make it bold and select this light color so that it will be clearly visible on it. Okay, then back for background color what you can do, you can select this one. values will make it bold actually we'll select the same color light one and for this background we can select this gray how it looks no then we have to change the font color to light one yeah it's looking good now right yeah so we can create similar slicers okay so this is slicer for product category now we can create slicer for channel as well just copy and paste the slicer so that you don't have to format it again instead of product category you can select channel this time okay so we have three channel distributor online and retailer okay now again copy this slicer paste it drag it below okay so this will be the slicer for quarter okay so instead untick this channel select quarter and we want to remove quarter uh, we want to remove blank actually so we will just remove blank like this okay done so now our data can be sorted based on this selection okay these are the buttons if you select drink so only the data shown here will be based on drink only okay now one more thing which is remaining is title of this particular dashboard so the title of this particular dashboard will be fnb sales dashboard okay so for showing the title we are going to select the text box in this we will type F 
hyphen B sales analysis dashboard okay we'll just make it bold reduce the size of this one from here till this available space okay we'll select press ctrl a again the color will be same go to more color type hash 2b 3a55 it is not showing because okay uh, we have to increase the size actually so size will be let's okay sorry select this one your title and then increase the size center align color you have already selected you can select font And one more thing, go to general effect. Don't forget to disable the background. Okay. Or you can select Times New Roman. Simple. Okay. We have black color. So we'll just change the hash to B. 3A55 and done okay so our dashboard is completely ready only one thing is remaining now icons okay so for icon go to insert go to image I have downloaded the icons already so I'll use this icons so revenue To insert image we need this one as well okay go to insert add image we need this one as well okay so basically the size we will use is 100 by 100 go to properties sorry 70 by 70 will be fine so we will select 70 with the 70 it is 70 okay so this will be for total order this will be for total revenue 70 by 70 this will be for ATP now done so this is our final dashboard and it was very easy and very simple you can follow step by step process for creating the dashboard the final thing which we are going to do here is we will check whether it is working or not okay based on your selection see if you select drink it will show the data only for drink okay if you select food it will show the data only for food okay if you select both it will show the data for food and drink okay if you want to untick the selection click here clear selection okay done now this is the data for distributor this is the data for online as a channel this is the data for retail as a channel okay now if want if you want to see the data for retail and online you can select two option okay this is the data for retail and online okay you can clear your selection by pressing this button clear selection if you want data for only quarter one so this is the data for quarter one if you observe total revenue here is 3.42 so if you select quarter 2 the t uh, total revenue is 3.85 so revenue is increased right for quarter 3 it is 5.16 again the revenue is increased for quarter 4 the revenue is 5.48 if you want to select the revenue for quarter uh, if you want to show the data for quarter 2 and quarter 4 
you can select quarter two here as well so this is the data for two quarters second one and fourth one okay so you can remove the selection okay so our dashboard is working you can follow the same steps from starting till end for creating the similar kind of dashboard i hope you have liked the video if you have any suggestion you can comment in the comment box okay i will provide the data set link in the description box so that you can practice this particular dashboard as well so thank you friends for joining